Hey y'all, it's your girl Stasia and welcome back to my channel. Now this video was initially supposed to be like a walkthrough, talk through type of tutorial, but it was way too much noise going on in my background. So I decided to just simply do my brows for you guys. But once they are complete, I will definitely be thoroughly um, explaining each item that I use and where you can actually purchase them from. So please hang on and stay tuned for that because um, yeah, it won't take long to get there. Just be patient. Just be patient. Chill out. But um, yes, thank you guys so much for returning back to my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, y'all, so as you can see, my brows are complete. They are finished, and I think they came out pretty damn good. Not my best, but they'll definitely work for this video. Um, so I just, I know I did a voiceover in the beginning of the video, but I did want to just come and talk to y'all personally and share with y'all um, all the items that I did use to create, you know, my brows. And these are the items that I use every day, well, every time I wear makeup. So um, first and foremost, this is it, literally. Three three brushes, two products, that's all. So for starters, the first thing that I used is of course the Crayon Cases Eyebrow Pomade and this is in the shade Ebony. It's the darkest one that they have. Um, I wanna try the, I think it's dark brown. I don't think it's medium brown. It's something with brown in it. Either way, this is supposed to be, you know, you can see that it's dark, dark brown, but it's, I guess, black. But um, I wanna definitely try the, the next one that's lighter than this one just because i don't know just try it but um so as you saw in the beginning of the video i started off with this um pomade and well first of all the brushes i use this spoolie brush and this is from um the bh cosmetics black and rose gold collection and this is the number 13 spoolie brush. So I always start off with, you know, clean brows and just brush them upward with my spoolie. And then I'll take the number 11 brush. This is just an angled brush. If y'all can kind of see that, it's dirty. Obviously I just finished using it, but this is an angled brush from the same collection. And I take this and this only, and this is what I draw my brows on with this angle brush right here, that's it. So, after I get the shape of them on, the shape, my desired shape, 
I'll go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And this is in the shade Chestnut. My go-to, my favorite. I cannot talk about this enough. Like, I love it. I don't think I'm going to... Well, I know I'm going to try other stuff. But this right here is my baby. This is perfect for me. Like, I don't need nothing else, honestly. But yeah, so as you saw, I just take a little bit and I dab it right there on my hand. And this brush right here is i think this is a concealer brush like this is a wet and wild brush and as i said in one of my previous videos wet and wild um all they have on it is their label like their label their name on a brush they don't have any you know brush numbers or anything like that but i think on a package on the packages it does tell you what kind of brush it is and i think this is a concealer brush but as you can see it's just a, a flat but round brush see it's very flat but the top of it is very round and um this is what i clean my eyebrows up with like i just dab it dab a little bit of concealer off of here and then i just go to work but um yeah simple as that and then yeah you might mess up like because you have to have a very steady hand and my hands are pretty steady but sometimes it's not like it all depends on I don't know. It just depends. But anyway, yeah, you have to have very steady hands, but I don't know anybody who has that good of a steady hand where it's like you just do that shit and it's just be perfect. I mean, hats off to whoever can do it. I just know that I can't. So um, if you mess up, which I do mess up, I'll just take my angle brush again, dip it back into the pomade and just correct the spot. But make sure my hands are very steady when I'm correcting it because you don't want to try to correct it and then you you know mess something else up and then it's just like oh god girl just start all over but yeah so if you mess up a little bit just be real gentle and just fix it and then of course take your brush again your concealer brush again and just you know correct whatever area needs to be corrected so lastly i'll take my spoolie brush again and just lightly pull those hairs back into place like that so like the same, um, you know, the same way you'll brush your brows up in the beginning is the same way I do it in the end, except I'm very gentle this time because now the brush will have product on it. So if you do it a little bit too rough, then you're going to fuck it up. Okay, so before I let y'all go, I want to share with y'all about this. Not necessarily about this, but just about eyebrow pomade, period. I don't have any on hand, like right here with me because a lot of my makeup stuff is still packed away. But, um... Yeah, you don't have to have an expensive eyebrow pomade. Like, and this is not even expensive, but the reason why I put it in the expensive category is because you have to order it. You can't just walk into a beauty supply store or walk into a drugstore and purchase this. So for those of you who are just starting out and y'all want to, you know, experiment, so to speak, um, go to your local beauty supply store or hell no, go to Walmart. Everybody got a Walmart. I don't care what city, what state, what town, what little small go to your walmart your nearest walmart and i'm trying to think of a good brand i mean you could, i know elf elf is definitely in walmart and i think that they do have an eyebrow pomade if i'm not mistaken i probably tried it before like way back when but um and i know it obviously is very cheap or well, affordable so yeah definitely go to walmart pick you up some eyebrow pomade and whichever shade you know works for you and like i said these wet and wild brushes are a dollar i don't care where you go some places hell they'd be cheaper than a dollar like i've been to some places where one of these might be like 78 cent or something like that and i'm like what but i'm pretty sure you have a dollar tree wherever you are so dollar tree definitely has wet and wild makeup brushes and they are obviously a dollar so you can go there and rack up like they have the concealer brushes they even have speaking of that let me see Voila, they have a little angle brush. Y'all can see that there's an angle brush. I mean, ain't no difference. Let me put this one out of the way. But yeah, it's like, this one is the bristles are longer, but I mean, to me that doesn't make a difference because before I had, before I ordered these brushes, I was definitely using this dollar brush right here. And it gave me, well, I guarantee I can create this same look with this same brush. It's nothing to it is, you know, the same exact steps you'll take with these cheaper brushes. You can create the same look. Um, 
mine is a little bit raggedy but because it's been through some things y'all been through some things but anyway yeah so you can get these brushes right here only thing i did not see was a spoolie brush in this wet and wild collection but um i'm sure you can find them anywhere because like see i have a little one right here and i think i got this from walmart it it actually it came with a little um it came with the angle brush on the end of this but i broke it i don't even know where i put it at but anyway yeah you can get a little spoolie brush from anywhere too it doesn't have to be anything expensive and as far as concealer it does not have to be this expensive shit because this right here run you almost 40 dollars but um let me see la girl pro concealer okay like sometimes i don't even use this to conceal my brows with sometimes i just feel like like let me use up my other cheap products um but yeah you can get you some la girl pro concealer in whichever shade you want now these used to be cheaper back in the day now since everybody using them they want to go all the way up and you can barely find these in the store but i know most beauty supply stores should definitely have them if they don't amazon has them but it's going to be kind of high because they know our black asses want them not just black people i take that back <laughs> they know us we want them period so yeah but y'all can definitely find these um in your local beauty supply store or like i say amazon or something like that along with some dollar tree brushes and y'all can create the same exact you know eyebrow eyebrows at a more affordable price and this is not even high but you know we can keep it at a decent budget all right, y'all, so this eyebrow tutorial is complete, and I hope you guys enjoy watching it, and I really hope you learned something from this. Um, but if I forgot to touch bases on anything, please feel free to comment down below. Um, you can even message me on Facebook or Instagram like y'all been doing. It's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, and continue to request stuff from me. It does not matter. You know, I ain't that type. Like, if y'all want to learn something or want me to show y'all something, just let me know. I have no problem with that at all. I will honestly prefer that because it's like, I'm showing y'all what y'all want to see, so to say. But um, yes, I thank you guys so much for returning back to my channel and watching this video. Please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, definitely subscribe, and I'm not going to say it no more um <laughs> it's like nah but um yes and i definitely look forward to seeing y'all in the next one and you know for a fact i'm about to come at you with something else because this face not even halfway done so please be on the lookout for that one as well thank you guys so much i love y'all and i will see y'all in the next one